This is my Brian Gumbel moment. Let's move on to a documentary that took the took um, the attention of America to ESPN the other day. The band is on the field. Can you just tell us a little bit about how much fun it must have been to do that documentary? Because the the guys, the names that are involved in it, some of the most joyous video of all times in sports. What was it like putting this together? Yeah, it's you know well as usual with these things as you're well aware, Susie. Um, uh, I didn't do much. You know, the producers, Simon Baumgart, Mike Shallow did all the real work. And I, I came in and did, I don't know, uh, a half dozen or so interviews. You know, but, you know, putting it together, um, you know, as a team, um, it was a lot of fun. I, 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 I tend to overstate these things, but I do consider it the greatest moment in the history of sports. And <laughs> and if you bear with me, I'll explain why. I mean, it, you know, we've seen it so many times now, right? We're talking about the play that ended the Cal Stanford game uh, on November 20th, 1982, 40 years ago this Sunday. Five laterals. Uh, the touchdown scored as... You know, uh, the Stanford band was on the field. Kevin Moen, the Cal defensive back who scored, he's weaving through the band. They're trailing 20 to 19 with four seconds to play. Okay. So Cal has uh, just fallen behind 20 to 19 after Stanford kicks uh, a 35 yard field goal with eight seconds on the clock. But after it goes through the uprights, there's still four seconds on the clock. So Stanford's got a kick, Cal's got to receive. And they keep it alive. And they score. I mean, how many football games have you watched? How many football games have we all watched? Um, it just doesn't happen, right? I mean, it doesn't happen the way that that happened there. It, 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 take the band out of the equation, right? Imagine that the Stanford band was never on the field at all. Not to mention the dozens, scores of other people beyond the band who were on the field at the time that the touchdown uh, actually was scored. Uh, you know, on the field of play, but just a game ending like that, a Division I college football game with bowl implications, and on the losing side, you've got one of the greatest players in the history of the sport, John Elway, was the Stanford quarterback. They've just seemingly fashioned this remarkable comeback for the ages, and now you have this five-lateral play uh, that wins it in one of you know, the great rivalries in college sports. Uh, it's it's just it's remarkable, uh, you know what happened. And then there's the band element as well. Everything else. And, and we're, this is 40 years ago. But there are no cell phones. There are no replays in the moment. Nobody knew what was going on. If you're if you're one of the people in the stadium that day, and you just witnessed this, you really have no idea. Did that really just happen? And it took hours before people saw a video of it. Um, and, and, you know, could kind of process what had happened. I, I really think, um, you know, there's, there's something about this play that uh, transcends sports, and it is about hope, and it is about, um, uh, it, it, it is about keeping faith. And, and it's also about preparation because there were things that happened in the play that, um, you know, uh, um, only happened because of the way that Cal approached that moment and approached practice all that season. Yeah, it's just so much fun to watch, and you have to think it could never happen again. I mean, I watched it again and again. We had Ron Rivera on the other day, so I watched a little bit in advance of having right. him on. And it just seems preposterous for all of us who spend our lives on the sideline. Like, how the hell did the band get on the field? <laughs> well, the band got on the field. I mean, you know, well, here's what happens, right? If, if, you know, they make the tackle, the band's out on the field already. Band's you know, already uh, to band, celebrate. Very, band's ready to celebrate. Very, they, they come down, yeah, they come down to the field, you know, as the game is winding down. Um, and, uh, you know, they're ready to perform win or lose, although they certainly thought in that moment, not when they started walking down perhaps, but by the time they get down to the field, you know, naturally you think, you know, this is a winning performance. We're going to perform. They're all the way back at the end zone. There's not a lot of space at Cal Memorial Stadium uh, between uh, the, the lines and the stadium, uh, the, the stands, I should say. It's, it doesn't have a track or anything like that. So they're kind of crowded down at that end of the 
field of the stadium. And then a lot of people, as this play was unfolding, thought it was over. Like they just, you know, they, there were it's kind of a chain reaction where somebody thought uh, the play was over. So people started coming onto the field. There were, you know, there were Stanford players on the field who should not have been. I don't know how many Stanford players were actually on the field during the play, but it's, it's a lot more than 11. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.